All right, guys, so the question reads, uh, which of the following be the most likely diagnosis? And your answer choices are <clears throat> A, 21 hydroxylase deficiency, B, 11 uh, beta hydroxylase deficiency, five, uh, C, 5 alpha reductase deficiency, or D, 17 hydroxylase deficiency. So you know you're in the kind of the, the adre those adrenal questions, right? So it reads, a 32 year old Caucasian female, a uh, Caucasian male, I'm sorry, <clears throat> presents to his primary care physician for follow up. His blood pressure readings are 190 over 112 millimeters per mercury and remain elevated whether he is sitting or standing. Heart rate, 80, 80 beats per minute. Lab work reveals low renin levels. Which of the following would be the most likely diagnosis? So to answer this, anytime you see this on step on the step exam, now they could be nice to you and, and ask you which one's just a deficiency, but essentially you got to know this process. Okay, so here here's the concept. All right, <clears throat> you're in... Uh, you're in the adrenal, and you're going to think of it like this, all right? And we did a video on on this as well, uh, and I'll put the link link in this below just to, to give you more description. So, ACTH, right? And so you're in. You have three different uh, layers, or three different. And you have the glomerulus, the fascicular, and the reticularis. Okay, reticularis. Now, with the glomerulus, I want you to think aldosterone. With the fascicular, I want you to think uh, cortisol. And then with the reticularis, I want you to think um, sex hormones. Okay? So, again, three layers. Starts here, ACTH. It's going to stimulate the adrenal cortex, and you're going to get uh, the glomerulus, aldosterone, fascicular uh, cortisol, and then the reticularis is going to be the sex hormones. So with the <clears throat> with this, the glomerulus, with the aldosterone, you got to understand this concept right here, and it's very important. Okay, and if you do this, you'll get so many questions right with this with understanding this concept, because here normally, right? Normally, meaning if I stimulate and then I go down this pathway to the glomerulus, I release aldosterone, I will reabsorb, reabsorb sodium, and then I will excrete potassium and hydrogen ion. <clears throat> so there's a lot of questions that you'll, you know, that can give you a description just by understanding that. So if I have too much down this pathway, what am I gonna get? I'm going to get extra aldosterone. Therefore, I'm going to reabsorb a, more sodium. And wherever sodium goes, water follows. So if I reabsorb more sodium, perhaps I'll have increase in blood pressure, right? And then too much of this, I'll have too much potassium leaving. So I could have, if I have too much of this aldosterone, I'll have hypokalemia. And I'll get rid of more uh, hydrogen ion. And then that's when you get into the alkalosis and acidosis uh, kind of realm, okay? So, and then again, fascicular, you got the cortisol, and then uh, reticularis, the sex hormones. So, where do these enzymes come into play? But if you if you know this, okay, if you know this, all you have to do, okay, all you have to do is know where to put these enzymes. And it goes like this, okay? 21 hydroxylase goes here. The, in the 17 hydroxylase goes there, and the 11 beta hydroxylase goes there. So now, if you have any deficiency in any one of these, all you have to do is come up here and say, oh, okay, I should, I should put him, I'll put him more like right there, the 17. Say if I have a 17 hydroxylase deficiency, and I knock him out, that means when this guy gets stimulated, where's all the energy going? Is it going this way? No, it can't make it past him, so all the energy goes th down this way. So what am I going to get more of? I'm going to get more of sodium being reabsorbed, potassium and hydrogen ion being excreted. So what does that look like? You know, what does that look like? So if I have a 17 hydroxylase deficiency, okay? If I have a 17 hydroxylase deficiency, let's think about that. I'm going to have more sodium being reabsorbed, so I'm going to have hypertension, okay? And then I if, what about the sex hormones? Well, I'm not going to get them. I'm not going to get them. So what's going to happen? If you're a boy, you're not, you know, you're not going to have the sexual organ kind of, in, you know, it's not going to be there like it should. So the boy looks like a girl, 
okay? And the girl is underdeveloped. It's like we said, you're just not getting this, right? 17's knocked out, or it's not functioning like it should. Uh, so you have hypertension because this guy's going down. Now they could also say you got hypokalemia or um, you're losing the hydrogen ion, so you could have an alkalosis, right? So but that's 17. Now what if I had a 21 hydroxylase deficiency? A 21, what, what are my symptoms um, gonna look like then? So I would knock this guy out, right? And therefore, where's, where's everything go? Everything gets pushed this way, right? Everything gets pushed, all the energy goes this way and it doesn't go to these guys. So if I have too much of this in a 21 hydroxylase deficiency, what does that look like? Well, first of all, if, since I'm not getting any of this, since I'm not reabsorbing the sodium, I have hypotension, okay? And then if I'm a, uh, let me see, if I'm a, a, a female, I get, but if I'm a female, I have what? I have a ton of extra sex hormones. So the female looks like a boy. And uh, if I'm the boy, you get ex extra, it's this more precocious uh, puberty. And then again, since I don't have, uh, you know, since I don't have these guys, I get the salt wasting okay now this 21 hydroxylase guys most common okay most common 90 percent of the cases are going to be this guy the 17 70 hydroxylase is only going to be like one percent so this is the one they tend to test on but you gotta if you understand this concept okay doesn't matter which ones they ask and that's where you want to be when you study for the step exam you want to be right there understanding the concept and then the 11 hydroxylase deficiency, really all that is, this guy, it looks just like 21, but you have some hypertension. It looks like 21, but you have uh, some hypertension. So in this situation, you know, it basically says 32-year-old uh, Caucasian, Caucasian male presents his primary care, the blood pressures are elevated. So if the blood pressures are elevated, uh, I know that I'm coming down this way, okay? And remain, whether he's sitting or standing, heart rate's this, lab work reveals low renin levels, which the following would be the most likely uh, diagnosis, the most likely diagnosis. Well, we can eliminate 21, right? Because we said that would need, it would be more of a hypotension. This guy's got a hypertension, so things are getting pushed this way, okay? Things are getting pushed uh, this way. And there's really... Uh, you know, this guy is, it's, it's an adult, so we're really not dealing with a kid where we're going to, you know, the, this, this stuff kind of comes into too much of a play. So this guy's already an adult. So five alpha reductase, you know, it's just not even part of this discussion. Okay. More of a distractor. So down between these two and between these two, which is the one that is the most, um, is the most likely, right? The most likely hypertension. It's an adult. It's going to be the 17 hydroxylase, right? This guy got knocked out. Everything gets pushed this way. Sodium gets reabsorbed. Where sodium goes, water follows, and you get your classic hypertension. And you know, renin levels um, obviously are low. Kind of a so we know it's not the uh, you know it's not the reason kind of causing that. You know, it's kind of a result that the fact they have high blood pressure, renin levels are going are going to be low. So there you go. Uh, answer choice D. But guys, if understand this concept and then look through your step one book and make sure that you can that you can make sense by understanding this that you can actually make sense of the 21 hydroxylase deficiency the 17 and also the 11. okay guys hope it was helpful